All right, so today we're going to be factoring multivariable polynomials. So I'm going to look at 6x squared plus 13xy minus 5y squared. This polynomial has three terms. They're separated out by pluses and minuses. And I know that this is a multivariable problem because not only does it have an X, but it also has a Y. So that's what makes this problem multivariable. So what I wanna do first is I wanna draw the rainbow from the first number to the last number, from the six all the way to the negative five. Whatever numbers that the rainbow hits, we're gonna to multiply together. So six times negative five is going to give me negative 30. And I'll put that over here next to the M. What do I need to add up to? I'm always gonna be adding up to the middle number, 13. So I need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 30, but at the same time add up to 13. So I start thinking of my two numbers, 10 and three, one of them would have to be negative and whichever way I do it, there's no way I can add up to 13. So I can't use 10 and three. I could try 15 and two, which number would have to be negative to add up to a positive 13. That would have to be the two because 15 plus negative two will give me 13. Now that they multiply to negative 30 and add up to 13, I know that these are the correct two numbers to use. And now I'm gonna divide by the leading coefficient. Right here, the leading coefficient is six. That's gonna be the coefficient out in front of the X squared. So I'm gonna take both of these numbers and divide them by six. Divide them by six. Now you will get some fractions. Some of these will be able to be reduced down for example, the 15 over six, I could divide the top and the bottom by three to get five over two. And the negative two over six, I can divide the top and the bottom by two to get negative one over three. So now that I've reduced both of the fractions down, I'm gonna put my first variable at the bottom. My first variable is X. So I'm gonna put X's at the bottom of the fractions beside the two and the three. And my second variable, the Y, is gonna go on top of the fraction next to the five and the negative one. And now we're gonna take these fractions and write them bottom up. So the denominator is gonna go first. The first fraction tells me two X plus five Y. 2x plus 5y because I'm starting with the denominator and then I'm moving up to the top to get to the numerator. The next fraction is going to tell me 3x minus 1y. 3x minus 1y. And then I close that up. So now we're fully factored. Now the negative one out in front, we don't really need to have the one so we can actually erase the one and just leave it as negative y. But this is how you factor a multivariable problem. You start off with the rainbow method, and then after that, you can do grouping or you can create your fractions. And I hope that helps.